We've had a week of the Android 12 Developer Preview 3 percolating in our systems, but we've continued to dive in and find a few things coming, and also wanted to highlight a few things you might have missed. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So not everything that arrived in the third Android 12 preview is intended to be user facing. Much of the new additions are under the hood, some are outright unavailable and in various states of development. We dug into this third preview build and have enabled some features that look likely arrive in either a future preview or a beta build. Overall, the quick settings panel hasn't changed too much so far throughout the Android 12 developer preview phase, but we could soon see a ton of changes that could eventually arrive in future beta builds. Google could soon be changing the tried and tested circular icons in favour of large squircle style buttons that take up a far greater portion of the notification shade or quick toggles panel. You can also see certain UI portions have greater prominence, including the edit, settings and power toggles, the latter option being a brand new toggle. The brightness control slider has also had an overhaul to match or at least follow the new bubbly system UI design and feel. It will be easy to note the similarities between the rounded corners and those of iOS, but there is much more utility on offer here. It looks like some system level quick toggles are also set to join the four, as there is evidence in the Android 12 developer preview 3 of a Google Pay and clock toggle for the quick settings panel. This should make wireless payments easier, but also allow you to disable the option quickly. While the clock toggle will likely let you toggle preset alarms and timers to turn them on or off appropriately. As part of the Monet system wide subtle theming system, you can also see the quick settings panel also has a hue that is determined or at least affected by the color of the wallpaper underneath. The accenting also applies to everything save the actual toggles themselves, which have been set within the wallpapers and themes section. Considering just how much your wallpaper affects the entire system color scheme, it seems like you'll be able to match up the UI to even greater levels in Android 12. First spotted in the Android 12 developer preview 2, in preview 3 there is a little more information to be gleaned about a potential gaming or game mode for future OS builds. We've seen multiple Android OEMs build out dedicated gaming modes for devices, and Google looks to be no different now. A dedicated gaming mode was one such feature that we even had on our own Android 12 wishlist. It looks like this new mode will introduce a number of controls and hardware enhancements to get more from your mobile gaming. It's nothing that we haven't seen from other OEMs like OnePlus and Xiaomi, but the game mode in Android 12 will give you the option for game optimization. The performance mode will maximize game frame rate, likely at the cost of graphical fidelity, while the battery saver will lower frame rate to ensure that the gaming has the lowest impact on your smartphone's overall lifespan, while the standard mode simply uses game default settings with regard to graphics and frame rate. This added game mode also looks like it will allow for direct YouTube streaming, something that was spotted in the first and second Android 12 developer previews, but notable nonetheless. A floating toolbar is also present with an option to quickly grab a screenshot, record your display and frame rate indicator. There is also the option to enable do not disturb from this menu so that notifications don't ruin your in-game experience and UI elements are not obscured. So that is the non-user facing features or secret features out of the way, but as we said, we also have some more options that you can delve into right now that you may have missed. After a long wait, when you see pop-up toast messages on screen, the mini message or warning should now adhere to your preset system theme. Toast messages, if you were unaware, are basically the little pop-ups that appear at the bottom of your screen with messages and warnings. In Android 12 Developer Preview 3, these pop-ups have been on the receiving end of a slight design tweak that places them ever so slightly higher up on your screen with a tweaked font. More noticeably, the message now matches your system theme, meaning that Android Toast messages now support a dark theme. It's a minor tweak, of course, but it's one that really helps with overall UI consistency. One thing to note here is that the toast message will only appear darkened if the app generating the pop-up supports a dark theme too. In Android 12, Google is also making the process of sharing content and opening the right app a little smoother by adding verified links that open directly in their designated apps instead of showing an option dialog pop-up. Alternatively or effectively, the URL that dictates when an app should be opened is now verified and will specifically target that app 
without even bringing up the open with dialog. It should help simplify and streamline the process of opening the right links to the right apps on your smartphone. Another minor change, but an important one nonetheless. When you receive multiple notifications and are running Android 12 Developer Preview 3, the bundle of these will display a small count in the notification shade to inform you just how many messages, emails or other are waiting for you within said application. This isn't the biggest addition, but it's a nice quality of life inclusion that helps you prioritize specific apps, contacts or indeed conversations. In a future Android 12 build, we are fully expecting that massive notification shade quick settings overhaul as we've mentioned, but for now the only minor change is that of the on or off text indicators when you have certain things activated. The text indicators are only available when you fully expand the notification shade though, however they are a helpful aid beyond the fairly obvious visual colour indicator itself, especially for those not confident using their smartphone like elderly or very young people. After all, not everyone understands every aspect of their smartphone. The Pixel Launcher gained a 4x5 grid option with Developer Preview 1 in February and it's now picking up a second 4x4 layout in Android 12 Developer Preview 3 that notably shrinks the size of app icons. While the Pixel Launcher isn't exactly the best third party home screen, even for Pixel owners, it's still fairly solid overall. We're expecting a few more updates and changes though as the beta phase opens, but more options for layouts is always a good thing. Probably one of the more frustrating elements when playing audio on Android 12 Developer Preview 3 will be that of the slightly poorly implemented audio crossfade applied to our media players. It's a tough one to properly explain without audio cues, but if, for instance, you play in a podcast in Pocket Casts and tap play a song in YouTube Music, the audio will crossfade for a couple of seconds before making the full switch. Unfortunately, it doesn't fully crossfade as the outgoing audio will only fade by a few decibels before abruptly cutting out, while the incoming audio starts almost at full volume. It's quite messy and it definitely needs a lot more work before it's fully ready. To prevent this though, you will need to pause one app, enter another and then press play. So that's a few secret features or hidden features in Android 12 Developer Preview 3 and a few extras that you might not have been aware of. But from what you've seen thus far, what is your favorite new feature or indeed features? Be sure to let us know down in the comments section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.